Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Patrick Fries. I'm a soil scientist here at Ward Lab, and today I'm going to talk about uh, PLFA reporting. So nothing too crazy, uh, but just talking about the PLFA testing process uh, and the reporting side of it, because uh, this is where a lot of people have questions. So uh, the PLFA, or phospholipid fatty acid analysis, um, is a procedure that looks at microbial populations in soil uh, by extracting the fatty acids from the wall, the cell wall of the microbes, and then it runs it through a gas chromatograph and the different lengths of carbon, the carbon chains of those fats, and different combinations will give you the profile, the fingerprinting uh, for your soil microbes. Uh, the PLFA report itself will give you a breakdown of things like bacterial versus fungal communities and some more uh, detail about that. But initially, uh, the people who would get PLFA uh, can be a range of folks. So uh, I would say broadly, a lot of researchers get it because it, uh, it does have a very good uh, academic application. I would say the next best thing after that would be DNA, uh, which is quite expensive in many cases. So PLFA being roughly a third of the cost uh, is a really good approach in terms of um, uh, any sort of microbial analysis you're doing for soils. Uh, it can apply for other mediums, sometimes compost or soil amendments, if you want to see the effect of soil amendments. Uh, and it's very stringently uh, analyzed. Uh, so uh, a lot of researchers will come back repeatedly for this analysis from us. It's about a week-long extraction, I would say total, uh, probably a little under a week. Um, so the, the turnaround time is... I would say, uh, if we're not busy, is about uh, two weeks to a month. Um, if we are busy, it could be longer than that. Uh, but we can do about 48 a day. So the turnaround is, I would say, better than most labs. Um, at least that's some of the feedback that we've received. Uh, so for uh, some of the other folks who can get this test, if you're applying uh, a different management strategy, so if you're going from, say, conventional to uh, regenerative systems, uh, the PLFA report will show you some of that progress from the differences in the management. Or if you're applying, like I said, like compost, uh, biochar, certain amendments, you want to see the effect of that. Uh, you can look at some of those treatments. Uh, the, the big key, though, is that you need to get a, a control or an area where you don't apply anything. So you can kind of see where you're starting out and then uh, how things are changing uh, with the amendment. So with any experiment, and this is just an experimental side note, uh, you should always have a control or sort of an untouched area to, to compare everything to, that kind of gives the value to a lot of results. Now, in terms of the reporting, you do get quite a bit of information. Like I said, you get total microbial biomass, but then you also get fungal and bacterial biomass amounts. And this is in nanograms per gram. Uh, and then you will also get a further breakdown of things like uh, saprophytes, which are the biodegraders uh, in the soil uh, that kind of break down a lot of the organic matter, uh, or guess organic carbon, plant matter, things like that. Uh, you'll also get protozoa, which are predators, uh, which are um, needed in terms of cycling nutrients, specifically nitrogen cycling. So uh, say, for example, if you have a report, um, you'll get a predator to prey ratio. You should see a, a, a nominal amount or a good ratio of protozoa to bacteria, uh, which ensures good nutrient cycling because basically the bacterial groups, uh, bacteria themselves are little fertilizer sacs. So uh, they're effectively broken open. And then plants can actually access those nutrients as well. Uh, and then you also get things like actinomyces, our muscular mycorrhizal groups, uh, which are uh, root-associated uh, fungal groups. Uh, for those, you typically have to look at the, the roots themselves. And that's uh, normally done through what's called uh, neutral lipid fatty acid analysis, which we do also do. Uh, it's a different uh, extraction during the entire lipid extraction process as a whole. Uh, you get three different ex extractions during that process, uh, the phospholipids, the neutrolipids, and then the glycolipids. Uh, phospholipids are for the, the broader microbial groups. Neutrolipids are for some of the fungal groups. And that should specifically be done on roots uh, to get the best data for that. Um, but in bulk soil, uh, you should also see some um, uh, AMF, uh, arbuscular mycorrhizal fungal groups as well. Uh, you get rhizobia, uh, nitrogen fixers, and a whole suite of other organisms. You also get the ratios of some of these organisms, like bacterial to fungal groups, uh, pre-16 to pre-17 um, uh, groups, uh, which indicate things like stress in the environment. Uh, and then also some of the bacterial to fungal numbers uh, will also uh, kind of inform uh, changes from conventional to uh, no-till systems. So typically in no-till systems, you should see more uh, fungal-dominated 
environments because uh, since you're not tilling, those fungal groups have more time to kind of establish, uh, proliferate, grow. Whereas in conventional systems that are continually tilled, a lot of those structures are torn down and they kind of have to essentially start over. So those are more bacterial dominant systems. Those are some of the indicators that will really inform your management. And in terms of research, uh, you typically get you know the, the whole suite of things. Uh, and we can also include the output files for the biomarkers. So a lot of uh, researchers do request this to do their own statistics on some of these numbers, uh, on these reports. Um, so yeah, that's uh, some of the uh, ins and outs of PLFA testing in terms of like how that's done some of the extractions that are done uh, during the process to look at uh, certain components in the soil and plant plant roots, and then some of the people who can actually benefit from some of that data. So thank you.